Okay, David, so we've got one more video, which is about passing. Now, the first thing I want you to know about receiving a ball and passing is that as a player, regardless of where you play on the field, your first touch on the ball, always, 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 your first option is what we call a positive touch. Okay, a positive touch is any ball touched in the direction that you're trying to score. Okay, so, for example, let me get my little arrow tool here. If we are trying to score on this goal here, if you receive this ball, you want to touch it and turn towards this direction immediately. If you possibly can, that's always your first bet. Now, hopefully, whoever passes you the ball is going to let you know if you have time or if you don't have time. If they say time, you've got time to make that turn. We need to work on some of your turns and some of your footwork and skills to be able to do this effectively. That's no big deal. I have no doubt you're going to pick it up quickly. Um, so anyhow, that's your very, very first option. The second option is to get the ball out wide. Okay, that's always what you want to do. First is to turn and always penetrate. So you're going to want to turn and dribble as much as you possibly can, but because of the position you're playing, you're not going to have a lot of time to dribble. So what we're looking to do is to get the ball wide immediately. So let's just walk through this. Uh, the keeper's got the ball. He passes to you. Your first instinct and your first thing you want to do is to turn that ball around. And I'll show you some different methods to do that. Now you can look up and see the entire field. If your back is turned to the goal we're trying to score on, it means that the other team really doesn't have much to worry about. So now that you've received the ball properly, you want to look wide. Either wide right, wide left, or you can look further down the field and go wide down the field or wide down the opposite side of the field. Those are the best options now. Let me go back to this other uh, frame here. If you pass directly in front of you, oftentimes what happens is we lose the ball and we're vulnerable to a counterattack. And when I say you, I'm talking about people in general, um, not specifically about you or your skill set. It's very dangerous to play a ball, the, a ball in the middle, and the people that are receiving the ball have to have really good skills. Oftentimes they're going to have to just pass it right back. Not always a bad thing to do, um, but if you pass it, they're probably going to pass it right back. If they pass it again, they're still probably going to pass it right back. But one of the options that you have at that point is our short, short, long. Okay? You play a short ball, they play a short ball, you go long. It's one of the easiest plays in soccer, uh, and it's one of the most effective, too, because what happens when you play that ball long, let's see if I can find it, when you play that ball long, all of the defenders that are playing on this, on this field, as soon as the ball, whoops, as soon as the ball goes over this defender's head, he has to turn his back to our goal, and now he's chasing. When that happens, what will happen is our guy is going to have to start putting pressure and our entire team is going to wind up doing that as well. So just keep that in mind. Um, there's the short, short, long isn't always the best decision, but it's one of the least ris risky that you can make. So the ball is going to get played back to the keeper. He passes to you again now. In that case, for some reason, uh, our sweeper told you you have a man on your back. So you're scared. You're not quite sure what to do. Same thing. You're looking to get the ball wide, but you're going to go out wide to our fullbacks. Okay, on either side. If that doesn't work, you'll either look for Smarn or for a drop pass to your keeper. If you ever hear me call out the word reset, and I say it a lot during a game, reset, reset. It's like pressing reset on a video game. You're screwing up. The attack's not working. You, you, know, you lost two men early in the game. What do you do? You never continue the game. You just reset it. When I say reset, I'm talking about resetting back to the goalkeeper. That's always a good option. Okay, so let's say you get the ball, you're in trouble. You go out wide to the fullback, or you go back out wide to the other fullback. Or you can go to the keeper. Now, something about that, let me back up a couple of frames here. When you go out wide, where am I here? When you go out wide to a fullback, if we lose the ball, at least we lost it on the outside of the field. Okay, a lot of times we're losing the ball on the inside of the field. And I know that might sound like I'm contradicting myself. Um, you're always safer to go to the outside unless... The other team is so far away from our goalkeeper, that's always a good call. So just listen to the call out from the sideline reset. Eventually, our players are going to be calling this out for you, um, as they should be already, to be honest with you. Um, but they're not quite doing it yet. So you've, you've reset it backwards. It's not working. So finally, you go back to the keeper. He gives it back to you. You've got Smarin or the sweeper, whoever's playing. He goes out wide with it, and now we start our attack. The whole point is, defensively, when we have the ball, we're all going to be in that circle. I don't know if you remember, I drew a circle on one of these last videos that you watched. But basically, defensively, we want our entire team here. But the moment we win the ball, 
we want to spread the field because the other team, of course, they want to stay in this area, okay? But we don't want to let them. That's why we spread the field. When we spread the field, now it means that they're going to have to also take their 11 men and cover this entire area. And that's what we want them to do. So when we lose the ball, we all compact in the center of the field defensively, not in front of their goal, but in front of our goal in this area of the field. And when we win the ball, you're going to get out wide offensively on the attack. And this works. It's proven. I have no doubt you're going to nail this. All right, bud. Ask me questions if you got them.